Governor of Edo State, Adam Sashomale, has assured the beneficiaries of the Youth Empowerment Scheme, recently phased out by the government, that the decision of the government is not meant to throw them back into the labor market, but to reform the scheme. The governor said this in Edo State, the bin, in Benin, the Edo State capital, while clarifying the position of the state government on the matter. He told Channels Television that the exercise is part of the ongoing administrative reforms and that those with requisite qualification will be absorbed into the state civil service. In addition to the yes issue, the governor also advised those positioning themselves to contest next year's governorship elections in the state to brace up for service. 2008, the Edo State Government established the Youth Empowerment Scheme to reduce what the government described then as youth unemployment. And for seven years, the scheme, as it were, has provided employment, albeit temporarily, for about 10,000 youths. But recently, the state government, in its wisdom, says it has had enough of the scheme and decides to phase it out. And this did not go down well with some of the beneficiaries and they voiced their concern about it. Many of our youths have been working for the, for the state government. And just of recent, he came on air and announced that the youth empowerment scheme had been phased out. Explaining the reason for phasing out the scheme, the governor of Edo State, Adams Oshomole, says what the government has done is to reform the scheme in such a way that will make it more vibrant. We decided to regularize uh, the employment of those who are we are the Edo Youth Employment Scheme, and those of them that are employable, we scrutinize them through the normal government procedure, which basically evolve the Civil Service Commission. Uh, so they go through the normal process of interview, whether written and oral, and uh, those who are found suitable will now be formally employed into the civil service of Edo State. Apart from the yes issue, so, Governor Shumule also cleared the air on those jostling to succeed him come 2016. My preferred candidate is the one that will appreciate that governance is about the people. Not just in lips, but in his heart. And that the resources that come under your supervision belongs to the people. And that Edo State is a state that is not artificially created. The word Edo refers to an ethnic category. So one that will carry every part of the state together and ensure that in, in governance, every, every ward, every local government, every senatorial district have a sense of belonging by ensuring that you know, projects are distributed in a way that allow for balance and even development. Whoever can do that, that's my preferred candidate. After all said and done, the governor says one thing that those state needs now more than ever before is for everyone in the state to rally around the government to take the state to the next level. With the establishment of the new anti-kidnapping squad in Oyo State, men of the underworld operating under various forms are being rounded up in an unprecedented manner. Of course, uh, with residents having huge sighs of relief. Uh, the latest conquest is the discovery of a one-stop central for all manner of crimes and the arrest of six suspects who have duped people of their means of livelihood to the tune of 800 million naira. She calls herself a white witch and reports say she has bewitched several people and duped them of their means of livelihood. Her victims are either terminally ill with diseases such as diabetes, cancer and the likes, or some who are simply greedy in their quest for more wealth. The journey of each victim starts here at this Trado Medical Clinic at Bopa area of Oleo in Oluyole local government area. 
here, unsuspecting patients are lured into the frightening world of these syndicates led by this ex fuji artist, popularly known as Fuji Santana. With the help of numerous foot soldiers who supply him with vital details of targets, the kingpin Akim Olayode lures terminally ill people from various sources to this dreadful shrine in the dense forest of Aba Oloya under Ishoko local government area of Oshun State, promising them healing and longevity in exchange for huge sums of money ranging from 15 to 15 million naira. The snap notice right now. I'm a 419. Those people then get customer, they will call me. So I'll come and stage work together. So when they stage the job, they will give me my own. The Oyo State Police boss, Mohamed Katsina, who led journalists on the over 30 kilometer drive from the anti kidnapping office at the police state headquarters at Elele to the crime scene, reiterated the commitment of his men to the constant and effective onslaught against the men of the underworld. This place is a place where many victims have visited. And all of them came here but left this environment in bruises. That whenever you are brought here, they do everything to diminish your sense or any sense in you. And as a result, they subdue you to the point of parting with anything that is valuable. And for the members of the community, this is a breakthrough. According to them, they have been living in perpetual fear and the village heads seem not to be of help. Our lives are at stake because we are living together and for this reason our effort is limited because they didn't support us. If they support us, we should have overcome this problem long time ago. But we thank God it came at appropriate time. This arrest is the fourth of its kind in just two local government areas in Oyo State since February this year and hopefully many will still be unraveled. And for many, the government needs to support the police to rid the state of these dangerous elements. And demolishing these shrines of horror might just be a good starting point. A lot of dust is being raised following the suspension of Chairman of the Academic Staff Union of Universities, Michael Okbara University of Agriculture Chapter in Abia State, Dr. Uzochuku Oyebinama. In a news briefing at the university, the Ori State Zonal Coordinator of ASU, Professor Ike Odimegui, speaking on behalf of the Congress, accused the Vice Chancellor of the University, Professor Hilary Edeoga, of impunity. However, the Vice Chancellor of the University, Professor Hilary Edeoga, says that the Chairman was suspended because of an act of gross misconduct and on in support in subordination The Michael Opera University of Agriculture in Abia State Nigeria's southeast region all looks normal just viewing the institution from outside the premises There appears to be nothing unusual when you step into the school proper students go about the usual day-to-day -day activities. Tucked in one of the classrooms in the institution are however disgruntled members of the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU. They are accusing the university's administration of going overboard in handling the affairs of the institution and creating anomalies which according to them include exorbitant hostel accommodation fees and some other issues. They allege that their chairman, Dr. Uzo Chuku Oyebinama, paid the price when he fought against these perceived irregularities. A situation where the jobless Nigerian is further paralyzed when a university ad advertises vacancies and compels this jobless Nigerian to pay for application for a job in a federal university. And the union says these things are wrong and they should be corrected. And whoever says it gets under attack. 
the uh, uh, Federal Character Commission uh, said it, it, it is an anomaly. You don't free of charge. Are they saying that I should not use my own personal money to 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 run the universe? I don't have such money. The suspended ASU chairman's office is under lock and key, and he is not allowed into the university. When Channel's television eventually caught up with him, Dr. Onyebinama would rather let the law court speak on the issue. There were some issues in the university, and um, I felt aggrieved and I had to go to court. And I was suspended for going to court, which is absurd. So I'll leave that there because the, the matter is already in court. The university system works uh, through the committee system. The fir first committee has met, did a recommendation. The second committee has met, had done a recommendation that is going to the governing council. Instead of him to wait for the outcome of such due processes taking place, he went to court asking the university to, that he should be disciplined. It is a stalemate situation for now, a stalemate that the university lecturers and the university administration should resolve quickly enough in order to avoid a prolonged altercation which might ultimately affect the school activities. Farmers in Kaduna State will now enjoy over 50% subsidy on prices of assorted fertilizer. The fertilizer is to be procured by the state government for distribution in preparation for this year's farming season. At the flag off of the ceremony in Kachia local government area, Governor Nasir El Rufai says that farmers are to benefit from subsidized farm inputs and low interest loans under his administration. With the dwindling revenues in the oil industry, agriculture is one sector most governments are now focusing on. But most times, farmers are faced with the challenge of inputs and machinery, and Kaduna State is no exception. Blessed with large expanse of arable land, it has resorted to boosting its agriculture through the procurement of 30,215 metric tons of assorted fertilizer to distribute to farmers. This is the attraction for this gathering at Kachia local government area. Farmers will now pay a subsidized price of 2,700 naira instead of 5,600. in the following areas. Successfully improved seedlings of oil farm were raised in Kubacha nursery and they are to be sold at subsistence to farmers. With most of its people involved in farming, the fertilizer will go a long way towards addressing some of their challenges. We in Kachano can come and count it. A rare and great, great privilege for being the first or among the first local government council out of the 23 local governments in the state to host you an official commitment. This, we believe, is a sign of a great truth to come to Kachano, Kaduna and Kaduna State as well. The distribution and sales of fertilizer over the years has been marred by controversy and corruption, making it almost impossible for genuine farmers to access the product. With the latest measure by the Kaduna state government, it is expected that fertilizer will get to the real farmers, which will in turn boost food production in the state. As the country's oil sector continues to fluctuate, many concerned Nigerians and experts have called on the leaders to revamp the agricultural sector. One of the areas that has been pointed out as a huge potential for economic growth is cocoa production. Well, Channel's television was in Ondo State to examine the challenges and prospects of cocoa production. At Oda village near Akure, the capital of Ondo state, lies the pathway to a large cocoa plantation. When it changed properly, already plotting. It makes the cocoa to grow early. Quite a proud reminder 
of the good old days when cocoa was the mainstay of old western Nigeria's economy. Today, cocoa production has fallen on hard times due to neglect and over-concentration on the oil sector. But with the dwindling fortunes in the global oil sector, perhaps it's time we retraced our steps to revamp cocoa production. It's a very sustainable economical program that can last Nigeria for long. Areas in the north where streams, springs, water can be harvested or they put a, 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 a dam across any river. They step down meat with the city valve, the river can overflow, will pile up harvested water in kilometers. This will encourage irrigation agriculture. To establish cocoa requires water. Cocoa production in the season requires water to also for, 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 for application of uh, cocoa chemicals. So if government is willing, the political will must be there, to face cocoa apart from this oil that is declining. The roadmap for the cocoa revolution, according to some schools of thought, lies in investment in cocoa production. It was one of the major revenue that the, uh, the Western regional government was able to utilize in making most of those uh, landmark achievements in the First Republic. But now uh, we are trying to add value to it. In doing that, uh, the state governor, Dr. Lucia Gumimiko, has created Cocoa Revolution. With Cocoa Revolution now, um, we're trying to add value, we're trying to um, do our own chocolate from Mondo states. As the push to revive cocoa production continues, what does the farmer have to say? The issue of chemical. Uh, Ondo state government is equally trying as far as chemical is concerned because they give us a subsidized uh, rate. But when we get to the service centers, that is where you have the stockkeepers, that's where the farmer has their own problem. Because these stockkeepers, they have their agents among the agro dealers. So they will be telling you that the, the, the chemical is not to arrive yet. When it should arrive, we get in touch with you. When you get there, now you say the, the thing has finished overnight. Because they sell this thing out to their own uh, agro, uh, agro dealers. With agriculture as part of the agenda of President Buhari's administration, there is a need for sustained political will and transparency in the proposed cocoa production plan for the benefit of the entire nation. Etisola, now you're talking. Still ahead on the news at 10. The European Space Agency says its comet lander, Philae, has woken up and contacted Earth. That's in a moment. Stay with us.